Welcome to the She is a Nourish Mom podcast, where we talk about all things self-care, motherhood, and faith for the Christian mom who wants to transition from worn out to winning as the mom and woman God called her to be. I'm your host, Dr. Latoya Wiggins, but please just call me Latoya. I just want to be your mommy friend and sister in Christ as I teach you how to no longer feel depleted, but how to develop healthy habits to be nourished, renewed, and rejuvenated with biblical principles that bring peace instead of self-pity. Now let's get nourished together. All right, so let's get into today's topic, and we are talking about soul care today. For me, this is the most important piece because if we are not right with God, all those other things can fall apart. The mental health, the physical health, they do not matter if we are not in right relationship with God. So spiritual self-care, which I like to also call soul care, is being sure that we are living and doing God's will, okay? So we are living as the women, as the moms, and all those many different roles we were created to be. We are being sure that we are living the way God wants us to live. We are serving the way God wants us to be. And you can't live the way he wants us to be and serve him if you don't even know how. (laughs) So that means we have to be finding time to spend with him, spending good quality time with him, not just saying a prayer and going on about your business. We have to really be spending good quality time with our heavenly father. Some people are not spending enough time with him because they don't know how or nobody, nobody taught them to or how to, okay? So if you have the Busy Christian Mom Self-Care Workbook, there is a section called Nurture Your Soul, and they're going to walk you through through some of those questions on how to start spending more time with him and different ways you want to. So you may spend quality time with God differently than I do, and it's okay as long as you are spending time with him in some form or fashion (laughs) so that you can be in right standing with him, have a good relationship with him hear from him, have good clarity on what you're supposed to be doing, not just living life on your own terms, trying to do what you want to do, but doing what he wants you to do, okay? Anything that we want to do in life, we have to make sure it aligns with his will for us, okay? So I'm going to give you some scriptures. And Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So again, he has already prepared good works for us to do in advance. But what is that? So if you're thinking about your purpose in life, we all have the same purpose, which is to serve God, to do his handy work, but it does look different for each and every one of us. So you're not going to necessarily know what you're supposed to be doing unless you spend time with him and really make sure that you are doing what he wants you to do, not just what you want to do, because it sounds good. But what does God want you to do? How does he want you to live? How does he want you to serve as a mom, as a wife, as a friend? Okay, those ministries. Okay, our family, for example, is a ministry. Sometimes we don't think about that because a lot of times people are associating ministry with church, which I mean, we are God's church, okay? Not just the physical building, but we are God's church if you have proclaimed to be a Christian, all right? So don't just proclaim to be a Christian, but live and do kingdom work. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 says, For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything, I repeat that, everything was created through him and for him. So we were created to serve him. We need him. He does not need us. He created us for him, but he does not need us. We do need him. When you're feeling uncertainty, you're worried, you're anxious, you're not feeling physically or mentally well, we need him. 
And even when we are doing well, not just saying we only need him when we're not doing well, when we're doing good. Again, we need to make sure that we are actually living and doing what he wants us to do to fulfill his will for him. Okay. He's our heavenly father. So just like your children, you want them to do what you want them to do. <laughs> you want to build them up in the way that they should serve in the world. That's what we need to do for our heavenly father. All right. So if you grab your busy Christian mom self-care workbook, you will be able to get more clarity on how to spend time with God and how to serve him. So I'll read you a few of the questions right now, and then make sure you go to the show notes, grab that link and get your own copy, your own free copy of the Busy Christian Mom Self-Care Workbook. All right. So if you grab that workbook, you will have time to actually take your time and reflect on these questions. And they are, how often are you spending time with God? How are you currently spending time with God? So the first question was, how often are you spending time with God? And then how are you spending time with God? So it gives you some examples through prayer, Bible study, journaling, just straight quiet time, meditating on the word. I want to see if I can even grab that scripture for you all too. Here we go. So Joshua chapter one, verse eight, Joshua chapter one, verse eight talks about meditating on the word day and night. Okay. Okay. We have to meditate on the word day and night because, again, when you put that good substance in you, you put the word of God in you, you know how to live. So that's why we need to know God's word or we are just walking around aimlessly doing things that we may actually think is good. You have to think about even other religions. You know, people who may serve multiple gods, don't serve a god. They may be still living what they call right because they're doing good, but we need to make sure that we are actually doing what is considered good to our Heavenly Father, okay? Because everything in the world that's considered good is not good to Him, okay? So we have to meditate on the word day and night, all right? So let me get back to those questions that I was reading. So the first one was, how often are you spending time with God? How are you currently spending time with God? And then reflect on, In what ways would you like to improve your relationship with God, okay? And this is for you to reflect on, for you to sit with Holy Spirit and think of because the way I spend time with God may not be the same way you're going to spend time with God, whether we're talking about the duration and how. You know, some people like to go for prayer walks and they they get good clarity that way. Some people have their own prayer closet. There are so many different ways, you know, to spend time with God. We may do our own personal Bible study. We may spend, I mean, do a Bible study with other people. There are so many different ways, okay? Praise and worship, that's a way to have a relationship with God or one of the ways you spend your relationship with God, okay? So in what ways would you like to improve your relationship with God? Then ask yourself, what has been preventing you from growing your relationship with God or spending the quality time you would like to spend with him? And what are some things you need to surrender to God? So what do we need to let go of and let God handle? And then you want to partner with God and ask him what he wants you to focus on in this season of your life. And I said this season of your life because some of those ideas that pops in our head or that we feel in our spirit, God is telling us to do. It doesn't necessarily mean he wants us to do it right now, okay? So we're going to ask God what he wants you to focus on in this season of your life, right now. Not in a few weeks, not in next month, right now, right now. What does he want you to focus on, okay? So sit with Holy Spirit and allow him to reveal that to you, okay? And then you're going to list two to three steps. You always know, if you have been listening to me before, I always say two to three steps. But if you got to start with one, (laughs) taking those baby steps, it is okay. But list two to three steps, if you can, to start taking action towards nurturing your soul and strengthening your relationship with God. If you grab the Busy Christian Mom self-care workbook at the end of the book, there are two pages that will help you with even discovering some different ways to spend time with God if you have no clue (laughs) on how to spend time with him. So it's called the Busy Christian Moms, actually it's the 50, 50 self-care activities for busy Christian moms. And some of those activities are spending time with God, okay? 
those things that you will do for your soul care. All right. And then there's another page that is like a self-care checklist that you can use daily. And when you're going through this workbook and picking those two to three steps, or even if it's just one step for your spiritual soul care, physical self-care, your mental health, mental health care, your mental self-care, you can put those on your self-care list, okay? And then that way you can keep track of your progress, being consistent, having it set out in front of you what you want to focus on each day or throughout the week, all right? So be sure to grab that self-care workbook, work through these questions on your soul care, as well as some of the other topics that we talked about in the previous episodes, and grab that checklist because it will help get you started with writing down those small action steps you want to start taking and start doing them. Start checking those bad boys off, all right? So that is our time today, and we're going to close out in prayer. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for helping me with this five-day self-care challenge, bringing other moms, other women of faith to hear how you want her, those things you want to her to focus on so she can be the mom, the woman that you have created her to be. Help her, give her clarity, vision, action steps on what you want her to do for her physical care, her mental care, her spiritual care, all those different areas that she is struggling with. Please give her clarity on what to do to be healthier. Any areas that you want her to improve on, give her clarity. Bless her to open up to you and allow you to work through her. I pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So that is our time today, ladies. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in to the She is the Nourish Mom podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share with a mommy friend who needs to hear this message. Connect with me on social media at She is a Nourished Mom. And let me know your ahas and takeaways from this week's episode. Until next time, keep nourishing yourself, mama.